So this is a follow-up video from my last video, and I must say, this is the type of stuff that I'm talking about, bro. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Updating us, letting us know what's going on. You know, it could be in a conference, it could be in in in, in uh, an investor meeting. You know, let us know on what's popping with this switch. Okay, you know. At the beginning of this so-called year, I mean, it was it was it was very dry. Uh, we did have some dedicated directs, like you know, we had Smash, um, Animal Crossing. We also had like some indie direct or whatever, right? But we didn't have like a proper direct where they kind of gave us a rundown on what games that are coming out this year. Okay, so they haven't done that yet. So it, it's definitely been been dry. Now I don't want people coming in my comment section trying to lie to people and lie to me and say that there's thousands of games to play on the switch okay don't don't say that okay because that doesn't that doesn't look very good okay I'm, I'm sorry but you just can't say stuff like that bro okay like lying bro you, you you just can't do that bro that's not cool bro anyway anywho nintendo finally coming out finally coming out and saying i think this was during their their investors meeting when they you know um release the numbers of the switch and uh the president there he was saying that yeah there's actually uh some games coming out this year that we haven't even announced yet i'm sitting there like yes this is what i was expecting this was a this is, this is the type of news that I, that I like to hear there is more games coming out this year that we haven't even heard about yet okay so we can definitely expect some type of direct soon so yeah, we can probably get a direct in probably the next month or so, the next two months, next three months. Who really knows? But the thing is though, what could be those games? It, I mean, it could be it could be Zelda. It, it could be a, a you know what we you know what we could possibly get two Zelda games this year. And you probably wondering like, Ultra, what you talking about, bro? Bro, what if they did like a Skyward Sword HD remaster, bro? I, I ain't gonna lie to you, that would be hype. Because then you can take the Joy Cons. And use it as the motion controls, or you can be like, nah, I don't like, I don't like motion controls. I want to use a pro controller. You know, that's cool, that's fine. You know, we, we could get that. Um, what else game like they can announce? Um, I heard a while back that there was there was a Monster Hunter game in the works exclusively to the Switch, and how it was gonna be built from the ground up. So it's gonna be like a new engine. So it's not like gonna be like the old engine like on the ps2 days you know what i'm saying so it's like a new new engine just for the switch bro we could get that man we could get that but hey um this proves that they can announce games during this um this this so-called pandemic that we're going through right now a game that we haven't seen is mario kart 9 bro <laughs> I bet Mario Kart 9 is gonna be absolutely amazing. Okay, now we had Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now that was from the Wii U because every um, Nintendo console or every generation there's always a new Smash and a new Mario Kart. But ever since the Switch came out, we haven't actually gotten a new new Mario Kart. And that's Mario Kart 9. Now, bro, like I can't even imagine how Mario Kart 9 will be like. Is it gonna be like that uh, that anti gravity type of like thing with Mario Kart 8? I don't know. Um, I felt like Mario Kart 8 was somewhat kind of like F Zero a bit with the whole anti gravity thing, but I don't know. I mean, how could they take Mario Kart to the next level? Honestly, if I was in the developer room, bro, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. I honestly, <laughs> I honestly have no idea how to make Mario Kart go to the next level, bro. I just don't know. In other news, Ninjala actually did get delayed uh, because of COVID. Um, hey, I mean, at least they 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 told us, you know. I mean, I mean that game needed to be delayed anyway because I mean that game, like that game's core mechanics was like not it, like. I don't know i just did not enjoy that game like i played the beta and i understand the beta was like really trash like it wasn't working but like when you finally go into the game and actually you know you know witness the gameplay you know you know what I'm saying it it wasn't good bro <laughs> it it just wasn't good 
Honestly, I would rather play Fortnite over Ninjala. I just did not enjoy Ninjala at all, with not one bit. Okay, I would. I, I don't think I would even download Ninjala at all. I would not even play a free game. That's a, I don't know, bro. That game was not it, bro. <laughs> it really wasn't. Man, um, could Apex come to Switch? Apex Legends? Ah. Urgh, I don't know. Apex Legends on the Switch, bro? Uh, I don't know. It, it might look a little bit ugly. But then again, the Switch was able to run Doom. And I think also Doom Eternal is also going to be on the Switch as well. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Apex on Apex. Apex Legends on, on Switch is very, very, uh, it's kind of a mystery. It, I feel like it could work. You know? But at the same exact time, I, I think it, it might be running at like like 30 FPS. I mean, 30 FPS is fine. Like, I, that's cool, you know, but it's it's definitely a mystery for sure. Bruh, do you think they would announce ARMS 2 this year? <laughs> let me, you know what? Let me stop. Let me chill. I mean, I mean, ARMS 2 don't even sound that bad, honestly. Like, I mean, ARMS wasn't that bad. I mean, come on now. ARMS wasn't that bad, though. I mean, if they're really gonna get people back into arms, like, there has to be something to get, like, to grab people in. Like, I don't know. Like, there has to be something because, I don't know, have it to where they can use their legs now? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they can call it legs. The sequel could be legs. You know? Or they can just call it arms, too, but it's like... I mean, there's already there's already a bad stigma surrounding arms so there, 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 like there has to be something that they have to do because i mean i mean arms really felt like a 30 dollar game like a 30 to 40 dollar game like they have to have a whole bunch of content and probably like some new like flashy mechanics to get people back into the game i don't know i don't know i really don't know but yeah, let me let me know what you guys think. Uh, we can definitely expect a direct probably in the next maybe two three months, maybe four. Who knows? But hey, it is what it is. I will see you guys in the next one.